we've done it. We can finally start the next episode. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it uh, turns out all of that backtracking that I did, totally pointless. Totally had zero point. The fucking boat was right at the graveyard where we finished last time. I just didn't see it. Uh, so that's cool. That's that's really fun. That's uh, very Bless mindful, very effort. respectful, very demure. I think Mum might have struggled with the city more than you did, Chess. Never held her back, though. She'd still visit me down in um, Edinburgh each spring for half term. Question is, how just do we... before landing season. Oh wait, compass. There we go. It was hardly easy for her with all the people. I'll tell you what, we've been doing Main Island stuff for a minute. Let's 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 go for another a skeddy. Let's go for another skeddy. We wander up half a seat. Getting her to venture out in the city centre was, oh, that was never gonna happen. I'd spend the whole week planning the quietest routes wherever we had to go. But she came every year without fail. And you get your own wee holiday, staying on one of the farms. <laughs> uh, most of my friends hadn't spent any time up north. I don't think they understood a word Mum was saying with her accent. But she didn't seem to mind. I think she always enjoyed being a bit different. I do wish I'd come home to see you two more often. But I don't know. Life in the city is just faster, I guess. Makes it hard to take the time out. Oh, I know. Excuses, excuses. Well, I'm gonna hop on the island in a minute, but I don't want to interrupt her talking. God, she's thick. It's it's yeah, it's funny. Even among like local, the Ains Ain Hallo scary. This one actually does seem a little bit scary. It's funny. Yeah, even among like local areas accents can be hard to discern australia doesn't really have that which can arrest a few minutes like australia doesn't really have that where like you know we can't understand each other's regional accents like there are differences and you like you can hear it um but there's no like accents that we can't really understand amongst ourselves even someone that's like full country and is like you know, I'm about to go in and shop down today, go and see about it, and blood is leading, and blood is doing it, and going and see on the office, and you know, I found you, and you know, I found you, and you know, yes, mate. Like, you can still, I mean, you probably can't if you're not from Australia, but you can sort of understand that if you're Australian. Um, but, yeah, we don't have, really have any regional accents that you don't understand. But I know that, like, Scotland, yeah, Scotland, some, like, really rural Scottish people, can be like hard to understand even for Scottish people. There's one accent and I can't remember the name of it, but it's like notoriously the most difficult to understand accent in the world. And uh, like I'm usually pretty good at like I've, I've got Miss Scottish Gran that I got and like, you know, I'm pr usually fairly decent at understanding, you know, accents in general. But, uh, nah, I'm like totally lost listening to this dude. I'm just like, I didn't get any of it. Well, it's very hard to bring him to mind. This is the thing. It's only, it's all right when your eyes are not going to any and happy, happy his eyes. Hmm? You understand? Not, not a single syllable you said, mate, went into my brain and processed as information. It is just noise. I'm still not convinced he wasn't just fucking with people. Because it's it's the craziest accent in the world. All right, where am I going? Where's the where's the goal? I mean that that rock looks too significant not to be something you jump off of, right? Like this is this is like the full rock out of like Power Rangers and shit. There's got to be no. Nah, there's no reason for it. You're just dead. You're just dead. Okay, so where? Oh, that's okay. That's where I've been. Do I have to swim for a bit? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We've got okay thistle. Wall. Yeah, it's covered in thistle, mum. You sound closer. Keep coming towards me. Come on. Hold on, mum. I've got a thistle. It wasn't here before. Would it maybe been helpful if I fucking knew where it was? So I guess at this point, I guess it's made clear that the thistle is the mum's favorite flower so maybe it doesn't have any actual like 
I mean, probably, like, everything has significance in a fucking culture. I'm sure there is significance to thistle flowers in Scottish culture, but, like, or Celtic culture, or whatever you want to say. But I guess the significance of this game is that it's mum's favourite flower. So the dog likes it because it reminds the dog of mum, which is nice. Does the dog have a name? Oh chess. oh, chess. That's right. I fucking... Thank you for immediately telling me. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. You have me so worried. I'm a dog mum. I know okay, what I'm doing. On, let's go. Okay, guys, so this was a this was a, like a quick little one. This wasn't like a sheep herder island. This was like a just a little fucking side quest, you know, just a little mini fucking not even a side quest. You know when games have like side quests and then errands to run and the errands are like just little things. This is more like that. This was an errand. This was not a this was not a full side quest. Okay, there's another scary which we might go look at. That's north. All right, let's go up north. Oh, I sail on my boat with the wind in my hair. With my wee lass with a huge derriere. Oh, I love Scottish songs, even though I can't sing. Oh, I love Scottish women, on whom I put the ring. Okay, that was terrible. The, the accent got lost. The fucking, the, the w lyrics weren't good, it, that was a bad one. I'll admit freely that that was a bad one, right? Sometimes these escape me, okay? The other day, I was on a roll. I had like four good songs that I could turn into arias, all right? They were good. Today, not so much, but you gotta learn to live with that. All right, there we go. There's the, the light beam. Like if you didn't know, this is like some shit out of uh, Skyward Sword or something, yeah? These big light beams. What would you think this was if you didn't... If you just started the game right now, would you think like... Okay, there's like some sort of Scottish magic going on, or there's like a sci-fi element to these beams? Am I, am I playing the ending of Mass Effect and we've got three different coloured beams going on? God, that was a shit ending. That was a fucking terrible ending, wasn't it? That was just bad. Ugh. So, uh, oh, by the way, this this seems to be doing a little bit better today. I think it's a combination of the pants being off and of me having a little break in between just to take the hat off, just so my brain doesn't melt. I, d I have thought about this hat before. Now, let's we're going to have a serious discussion right now about this hat, all right? Is this furry shit? Like, what's, what's the line with, like, furries? Does it have to be, like, a, a full helmet... Like, I, I, I've got nothing against furries, all right? In fact, lately... Oh, it's raining. Get the water. Yeah, let's get off water and go to the fucking windmill that's destroying my peace! Let's have a serious discussion about furries for a minute, right? Now, I, I admit, in the past, I have been on the furry hate train, all right? That's buddy, Scotty. This is, this is buddy, Scotty. This is locations, buddy, Scotty. I have been on the furry hate we'll train in the soon. past. We'll just have to wait it out. And uh, I'll, I'll like i and there are. Don't get me wrong. I wonder what we can do to pass the time. Let's play fucking fetch. Don't get me wrong. There are oh cringe my. elements to that fandom, as there are in every fandom, which I've come to accept. But I, f I feel like I've given them a bit too hard of a time, if I'm honest. I feel... Now, this is not Windy Comes Out as a Furry, all right? This is not that. I... I... I will emphasize this fact. I am not... I don't have a first Sona. I'm not into that shit. I... I... I, I, I no, okay? But I think we maybe need to stop demonizing these people as much. Like, look, there's there's a line you don't cross, all right? There's a difference between furries and crinklers. If you don't know what a crinkler is, look it up. I'm sorry. That's a fandom I cannot get behind. That's fucking weird shit. Here you go. Um, but I think in general... You bitch! I think in general they've been given too hard of a time. Like, like in recent years, some of, like, the YouTubers that I really like, or, oh, um... No, Chess. 
Oh, I thought it would float. Bitch. YouTubers that I really like, or like just like influencers no on, I don't know, like it. fucking TikTok and shit like that. You know, just things that you watch. Oh, come on. I'm sure we can find you. A... Yeah, that was fucking rude. You threw my stick in the ocean. Yeah, like, like influencers and shit that I like have to like, quote unquote, come out as furries. Um, if you haven't seen uh, YMS, your movie sucks. Um, I fucking love Adam, alright? He is awesome. If you haven't seen his shit and you like movie reviews, watch his shit, because he's really fucking good at it. He's really smart, and he's really funny in how he does it. And I used to think he was joking about furry shit when I started out watching it. Like, I was like, oh yeah, he's like making fun of the furry fandom. <laughs> oh, it's very funny, haha. -ha. I, I have come to realize that no, that man is you like know, a... Sure and he has friends who are genuine furries. And then I had like a, almost an okay, internal crisis <laughs> where I was like... Because like my whole life growing up, you hear about how furries are cringe, how they're gross, how they do weird shit. Can we get in the boat, please? And then I'm like, but I like Adam, and he's like a cool guy, and he seems like sort of normal. But And then I had to like sort of come to grips with the fact that maybe I've been demonizing these people too much my whole life. And maybe they are just fucking like people, you know? And so I've, I've, I've really come to fucking realize that like, don't... Like, like, it's so easy to, to be like, yo, homophobes are, you know, bad people racists, bad people, because they categorize everyone as with a broad brush and, you know, they use these stereotypes. And then you come to realize that you do it yourself a little bit, but because it's people that aren't in your tribe, you're like, oh, no, it's okay, though, because, like, they're, they're weird, they're outside, like, it's fun to make fun of them. But I, I think that this fucking this. stigma needs to it's stop. Like so These well. people are just fucking people so and they like to dress in fursuits and have fursonas. It's like, it's okay. <laughs> I wish I remember and like, like, I think we need to like, and like, there's there would be, you know, immediate backlash to a statement like that because furries have a certain connotation, and then it's assumed that you're a furry because the only people that will defend them are furries. And I'm like, okay, it needs to stop at this point. All right, they're just fuck, they're just people. They just fucking like to dress in fursonas. It's okay, and and it's time to move on. All right, and that is my serious discussion on furries, all right? That was like a 10 minute chat on just like why I think the stigma needs to end. But crinklers, no. And, I, and I get that it's sort of going back on what I just said. Crinklers, stop. I wonder. Stop. Do you reckon there's any more tracks nearby? All right, let's track like, uh, what are we tracking? Like a fox? Those are fox prints for sure. Let's fucking kill it. This is a real life, the fox and the hound, all right? Let's go, mum. Let's go. I smell it. I smell it. It's, it's a fox. Off now. Yeah, because they're windmills, mum. Private land, no public right away. Property of your energy. Who the fuck is your? So, right, mum. I'm good at getting into places. Watch this. Okay, if I remove the gate with this. I'm actually magic. This dog is actually oh, magic. Kegels used to love folk hiking through here. Is this is this game is this game about to start a, a uh, energy grid bad sort of narrative? Because look, I I am like. Hey Jess, come on! I found more tracks. I am like yeah, all for maintaining wildlife reserves, maintaining nature as much as we wow. can, all this shit. It's changed a fair bit since we were last year. But these you? windmills are so fucking great. They're so essential and necessary to maintaining nature as well. Like, I think... Like, it's so important. Like, green energy is so important. Can I just jump down here or what? No, okay, no. It's so important... And then fucking just like boomers just hate on it for no fucking reason. Let's go, mum. I'm tracking a fox. Let's go. Over the bridge and through the fjords, away the fox ran. But here comes the dog to sniff, as only a dog can. He chased the fox through hay, through straw, 
all the way to his den. But then the dog realized the fox could be a friend. That wasn't bad, all right? I, that was on my feet. That wasn't a bad one. That wasn't a bad little rhyme. Last time we were here would have been just days before. Days before what? Before mum died? It's, it's... Morning, Kelly. Oh, morning. Wait, are we actually... Is this a memory or is this like... Good morning to you as well. Okay, this is a memory for sure. This is a memory of days before. Even? Better okay, yeah, because she's still alive. The doctors say she might even be able to come home soon. Well, glad to hear it. She's a strong lass, your mother. Big, she's strong thighs. But I'm sure she's proud to have you shepherding for her while she recovers. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Anyway, how can we help? No more I'm sheep. The cattle have been giving you a bit of grief recently. Ah, uh, fucking cows! Oh, I do. Usually trouble. No, 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 it's just the sheep today. Oh my god, oh my god. No if you could sheep. bring them down from the craig and back no to the sheep. pen, I'd appreciate it. More sheep gameplay. Oh god, I'm having flashbacks. I'm having flashbacks to the sheep. Okay, Jess. I know it's been a few years since I practiced. And I know you're not used to working with anyone but Mum. But she needs you to be a good boy for me. You can Oof. do that, can't you? Oof. Beautiful Scottish lass saying that I'm a good boy. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll be your good boy. Absolutely Hang on. I've got to use my dog magic Wait, oh, is that enough? Is it opening? No, we still need more dog magic Where is the other one? It's, it's got to be in the house, right? Oh, hang on. Is there more? Okay, there's more to the house. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't realize that there was more to the house than meets the eyes. Right, I've used dog magic. Let's go through thorns and thistles. Okay. Here we go. Let's head up for Craig. Okay, wait, what happened to the fox? We were tracking a fox, now the fox is gone? Bullshit. Oh man, there's a bunch of sheep up here. Look at all these sheep tracks. Sheep, 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 sheep. Let's go get sheepish. Man, where are, where are we at? I guess they found something nice to eat. They've got to be around here somewhere. Yo, sheep bear. Where are you going? Hello? I'm looking for some sheeps. Hello? If you'd be so kind. Oh god, it's nearly fell. Oh, <gasps> the sheeps. Hello? Oi, you. Get moving. Uh, that's everyone. Get moving. Alright, let's take you back down. Where's my master? Where's my gal? Hey, good job, Jess. Okay. Let's see if I can remember your commands. This is weird, because it's almost like the tutorial, but we've already oh, done this. Wait. Oh, fuck. Uh, yep. Anti-clockwise. But you know, you want to go clockwise right now. Oh, no, wait. Anti-clockwise is the other way. Holy fuck, I'm a dumbass. Oh, my God. I forgot how a clock works. Come by. Hey. Hey. I'm trying to... Don't tell me my own business. I'm trying to shepherd sheep down... Oh, fuck. Trying to shepherd sheep downhill. I've done this 30 times. You're telling me the wrong commands, lady. I'm trying to fucking... Oh, God. Maybe she wasn't. <laughs> Maybe I'm just foolish. Right. Downhill. Downhill. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Everyone downhill. Right. That's you two. At least it's just one gaggle of sheep this time. Like, what? Did did we do the last sheep herding on on a scary, or was it on a main quest? Cause it's, cause this feels more like a sheep tutorial than the last one, doesn't it? Like this is one herd of sheep. She's like talking about how she doesn't remember the commands. Just through the gates over here. You're talking to a pro lad. Would you tell Lionel Messi how to kick a football? I don't think. 
Would you tell Shaquille O'Neal how to throw a three throw? I guess you would. Because he's kind of shite at it. That looks like the lot of them. No worries, Jack. Thank you for your help, Kelly. And me, you twat! Oh, aye, and Mr. Chesley, of course. I mean, one of us did all the fucking running. Here, I hope to see her working with Chesley again soon. And you never did, Jack. And you never did. I had heard the Campbells moved down in Maness way. Cause you fucking poisoned her, didn't you, Jack? I guess. Thought I wouldn't be I on to you. Imagine this place without But me. I can smell poison on your fingers, oh, Jack. As long as they're happy. Why'd you do it, Jack? I suppose I'm not. Why'd you fucking do it? Was it the inheritance, Jack? Anyway. Were you mad? Were you mad that she was giving away half I your farm to her tracks. daughter? They're headed towards Fuck the Fuck you, Jack. You piece of shit. You dog, Jack. And that's coming from an actual dog, Jack. Why'd you kill her, Jack? Oh, it's stuck. They called you Jack it the Ripper. It must on something inside. All right. Don't worry, I've got it. You forget, I'm dog. I am actually, I can't jump that fence, so sorry. We're going to have to go oh, home. Maybe there's another way in. Maybe you should find it. Maybe you should be a grown adult woman and like sort of, you know, sort your own business. Because I'm just dog. Alright, I can't. I can't get through fence. Where am I going? Do I need thistle? I don't. I don't have a thistle. Wait, was it. What, what was the. I can't bark at her. I can't do it. Maybe I need to just bring a thistle. Okay, maybe I just need to bring a thistle to her. I don't. Because I thought I needed to get around like the back. But maybe I just need to get a thistle and bring it to her? Oh! Hold on! Ah, shit! Can I not jump up there? There we go. There we go. Where's my jump? Oh, God! Alright. This game does not have good jumping controls. Alright. Let me feckin' jump. There. There. Now be real cautious, like. There we go. There we go. Hey, don't run from me, you twat! I'm trying to take you home! Right, come here! Right, now... Oh, that was all for fucking orb! I don't need orb, I need thistle! Hello? Is there anything around that I can use to get through door? I don't want to be lost anymore. Oh, we spent half the last episode being lost in the woods. And my poor audience don't think that's very good. I know the accent got lost, but the rhymes were still fly, boys. The rhymes were still fly. Am I just, what am I meant to do? Hello, Ona. Help. Help. I know she's got anxiety, but I don't know how to help her because I don't know where the fucking thistle is. I can't like open doors. Oh, I can look inside a little bit. Oh, I'm breaking the rules now, baby. We're breaking the rules. This tree looks significant, like I can knock it over or something, but oh, hang on. Oh, that's cheeky. That's a cheeky little fucking spirit doorway. I didn't realize that. I should have realized. You know what? Maybe I should have realized that. Maybe it's not the game's fault. Maybe I just shit. Or maybe it is the game's fault and I'm a pro gamer and y'all should just learn to appreciate the fact that I really am that guy and you're not that guy and that's okay. It's okay not to be that guy. Not for me because I am that guy. But for you guys, it's fine. Anyway, door open. You got it? Do you need more help? Jesus. There you go. There you go. Welcome to the indoors. You could have gone through the secret magic door on the left, though. You silly woman. Why are we breaking into this man's barn? Oh, are we still tracking the fox? It's gone that way. You've, you've missed the turning. Legit, though, this is not our farm, right? Like, we're, we're, on, we're on Jack's land. Why are we fucking breaking into Jack's barn? Also, we didn't we haven't like actually physically seen Jack yet, have Looks we? Like, like that was a memory. Packs hopped the fence. Well, this land is not owned by Jack anymore. This land is owned by fucking Okay. Torcomp or whatever it is. Just 
like we did last time. Yeah, we just got to find a magic gateway. Like, <laughs> duh. What, you have never traveled through magic gateway before? What are you, some sort of... Bro, like, I... That Campbell job started really well. What with mum being sick and working with you for the first time. Mm. It was scary. But... Like, I don't I see it, but I would have one of these in my backyard, and I'm not even fucking lying. I would just have, like, this would be help. fucking sick. I was really happy be scary as fuck, though, because my backyard's not that big, so it would be over my house, and that would be terrifying. Thought we could go for a wee hike to celebrate a job well done. But then, Mum perished. She perished. She perished. Oh, look at that magic door, much. You wee bitch. What's the sign say? Campbell Farm welcomes you. Come have a look at all of our beautiful things. We've got rocks, trees that have fallen down, and sheep, lots of sheep. This is where I realised that I was in way over my head. Holy fuck. Yeah, no, have, if you don't know fear until you've been charged by a fucking ram, dude. Like, it's actually scary. Chesley. Back off, you spooky Chesley, bitch! I'll have you. Chess, get away, come here. I'll have you for supper. Oh no, do. Chesley, come here. What do I do? Get back. Get back <laughs> from owner. I'll not have you ram her. Get back, you great beastie. Can I can I like bark? Can I do anything? I just I'm just like losing this fight. Back. God, it's gonna fucking hit me. It's going to strike me. You sheep. You know what you are? Nothing. Nothing but mutton. Nothing but wool for me socks. <gasps> oh, okay, every time it gets up and... So you could have given me that little prompt fucking earlier, bro. Unless it just wasn't <gasps> available at all. Because I was clicking a bit. Get back. You great <gasps> beastie. You think you're strong? Nothing is stronger than this Scottish pride. You, back to the realms from whence you came. Back into the nether. We're fucking barking the sheep down, bro. Like, get, what the fuck? This is taking ages. Stop it. You, stop it. You're being silly. See, wasn't that bad? She got like the craziest anxiety about nothing. What am I doing here? I can't do this. I'm not a shepherd. I barely know the basics. I'm letting her down. I'm gonna get you hurt. Like, what is? I get she's got anxiety about this, but what is there to know about being a shepherd? You bring the dog. The dog moves the sheep. You direct the dog to move the sheep into the next paddock, and then you just go in a big fucking circle all day. All day. I suppose, I mean, you do have to know when to move the sheep, but I feel like you, as long as you've got a timetable, you're fine. Because like, you don't want sheep grazing in one... Okay, those are fucking thorns. You don't want sheep grazing in one place for too long. I get that. Oh, there we go. Is that the way? That must be the way. Because then they'll kill all the grass. You need to keep them rotating, but like... I feel like if you've got them on like a once a day rotation, they'll be fine, right? That's how, like, is that how often shepherds move sheep? I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a fucking shepherdologist. Just wait for a wee second, mum. I'm just using magic door to get round. Um, so what, 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 what do we use to, birds, isn't it? Isn't it birds that make her feel good? Or she? Are we? Wait. Are we gonna make her feel good by bringing sheep? <laughs> That's what she's having fucking anxiety about. Right. Come on. Owner, scatter sheep. So I gotta make her face fears. Ah we. I don't know what the other one is. I just know. Ah we. Come. Ah we. Left. I feel like like. A shepherd's life would be pretty sweet there, right? Like, there there are... Are there still shepherds? There would be still shepherds, right? Like, in, like... I don't mean, like, in a fucking dusty bum village where fucking they don't have internet. Like, in, in like, general society, there would still be, like, people that are classified as shepherds, wouldn't there? Oi! Get back! Get 
back with group? You bitch. Like a shepherd's life would be kind of chill. You just gotta like keep an eye on the sheep, right? Keep an eye on them. Move them along when you need to. Chill out. Read a fucking book in the fjords. Like that's a that's a pretty sweet life. Here, look, mum. I brought your sheep. You right? I'm here. Hey, hey. I'm here. Wait, you need more? I just got your sheep. Wish you want more sheep. Thorns are still up over there. Oh, hang on. There's like another... Another cave, I guess? Oh, I thought that was going to be it. I'll tell you what. We'll continue the sheep gameplay in the next episode because we've got to end this one here. It's running a little bit over. But until next time, guys, please remember that I love you all very much. And I very much hope to see you in the next episode where hopefully this is the end of the sheep gameplay because I'm genuinely getting fucking over the sheep gameplay. All right, guys. Catches. That's it. We're done.